In this video, we'll write the balanced net ionic equation for KOH plus FeCl3. This is potassium hydroxide plus iron 3 chloride. So first, we need to balance the molecular equation. We can see that we have three chlorine atoms here and just one here. So let's put a 3 in front of the KCl. Then we have three potassiums and only one here. We need to put a 3 in front of the KOH. We have these three hydroxides. That's okay because we have three hydroxides here. And then we have one iron and one iron. So this is the balanced molecular equation. Now we can write the state for each substance. So for potassium hydroxide, the strong base is going to dissociate completely into its ions. Iron 3 chloride, chloride's very soluble. And then we have potassium chloride, another chloride. But potassium hydroxide, whenever you see a transition metal with a hydroxide, you're thinking it's probably either slightly soluble or insoluble. Let's look this up on a solubility table. So we're going to find iron 3, these are the positive ions, and right here, iron 3, and then on the top, here's the negative ions, the anions hydroxide. So we go down, and we go over, and that I there, that means it's insoluble. So iron 3 hydroxide will be insoluble when it's in water, and that means that it's going to be a solid, because it didn't dissolve. So we're going to put an S after here. So when these two reacted, we ended up with this solid precipitation reaction. So we have our states. Now we can split the strong electrolytes into ions for the complete ionic equation. So potassium group one, that's one plus, and that whole hydroxide, one minus. Three potassium ions, I'll write aqueous at the end, let's not write that now, plus three hydroxide ions. And then we can't tell the charge on iron just by looking at iron. We have to look at what it's bonded to since it's a transition metal. Chlorine, that's the chloride ion, that forms a 1 minus 3 of them, so this has to be 3 plus. So this is the iron 3 ion, and then for the chloride, we have 3 of these chlorines, so we have 3 Cl minus, that's the chloride ion. These are our reactants in the net ionic equation. On the product side, we have 3 potassium again, 3 potassium ions, plus 3 chlorides, and then the iron 3 hydroxide, that's a solid. We're not going to split that apart. So we just keep that FeOH3. These are our products. So this is what we call the complete or total ionic equation. Now we cross out spectator ions. They're on both sides. They haven't changed and we're not interested in them. So in the reactants, here's three potassium ions. And in the products here, three potassium ions three chloride ions in the reactants, and again in the products, get rid of those, and we're done. So this is the net ionic equation for KOH plus FeCl3. Let me clean this up. I'll write the states. We'll have our net ionic equation. So this is the balanced net ionic equation for potassium hydroxide plus iron 3 chloride. You note that charge is conserved. I have 3 times 1 minus, so 3 minus, and then the 3 plus. That gives me a net charge of 0. Over here, this is a neutral compound, net charge of zero. And then if you count the atoms up, they're balanced as well. Often you'll see the positive ion first in these net ionic equations. Doesn't really matter, it's the same thing. Maybe it looks a little nicer. And that's it. This is the balanced net ionic equation for KOH plus FeCl3. And this is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.